Welcome, Welcome to, to Happy, Happy Life, Life, Happy Life. Life. We're your hosts. I'm Kendall Landry. And I'm Jordan Myrick. And we're two incredibly unqualified, but deeply in love comedians that are here to help you with all things relationship. And today, we have two incredibly special guests that I am just over the moon. Two of our favorite here. people in the world. In the world, it is Joe and Andrew from the Good Children Podcast. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thank oh you so much God. for doing the podcast. I'm so happy to be here. This truly. has been a long time coming. It really has. So we met y'all on a trip to London for Spotify mm-hmm. last fall. Yes. And I will say fell in love instantly. Oh. It was magic. It was magic in that like <laughs> triple story Japanese restaurant. <laughs> and there was something about being all the way down in the booth, like especially because I had to go to the bathroom about 15 times. <laughs> and, and we kept having like... to fully move the table and <laughs> yeah. be like, guys, back away. You're yeah. going to get hit by the table. Yeah, I kept like nudging you it was nice it felt it felt intimate but it felt right yeah yeah it did feel immediately immediately intimate i mean we walked together forever after the dinner and i remember like we like parted ways and we were like okay well hopefully we'll see you guys later and then we walked around kendall and i looked together we were like we really like them and we did the exact (laughs) same thing we like we immediately part ways and we were like like, wait we missed them we're (laughs) obsessed with them them back Yeah. That Some was of the so in the world. fun. Yeah, we had we had the best time. So we're so excited that you're here. We're so excited we've to hit be back. three major cities now. We've, we've hit done. London, so New York, and LA. What's next? Miami. Yeah, oh. please. Us in Miami. Yeah, that's a TV show. Yeah, yeah. and that's before we're we get the spray down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So normally we ask our guests what they've been up to this week you've been in LA you live in New York and you've been in LA yes yeah we have and we've been up to some crazy <laughs> shenanigans yeah. Yeah. every day a different like experience gets smacked at us in the face and it's a been amazing a different trauma in Tra- some ways I would say I need to know best and worst so far oh well <laughs> I would say the worst is probably just driving in the city uh-huh. and it just like it's the moods that it puts us both in because I feel like oh. I'm actually I have a life well, I guess two lives in my hands yeah. when I'm behind the wheel. Have you guys gotten into a fight while you've been driving? No, but just a lot of silence. <laughs> yeah. Which feels like even a worse. Fight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a no, fight you can't resolve. It's like, I don't, and I don't know why I like rented the biggest boat you've ever seen, yeah. but it's like a huge Jeep. Um, but, you know, I'm making yeah. do. Why? Because they gave me two options and they said the GMC or the Jeep. And I said, all right, well, the Jeep. I got the a Jeep mid- is I'm not it wouldn't fit in this room. I got a mid size SUV. That's what I thought I was getting. I thought it was gonna be like a Mazda. Right. Cute. Also, the first time I got a check from doing social media, we went on a vacation. I literally was trying to book for no reason. It's not. This is the trashiest thing I could do. I was like, I have a little bit of money now. I'm bu- I'm gonna rent the biggest car they have. Of course. I was like, get the most for no reason. <laughs> this yeah. car though does this. It's it's like a hybrid, so it has like you know how like electric cars need to like make noise when the engine's not running, mm-hmm. so they like decide what that noise is gonna be. This car has like a beautiful like harpist score that plays at all <gasps> times when you're driving mm-hmm. it sounds like the opening of a lord song the <laughs> entire time andrew is driving like it's like can you play music ooh, over it yeah but and it's then, playing from outside the car yeah wow. we were Everyone driving in the it. parking lot that first night i said where like there, there's like church music playing i would like lower the windows <laughs> i was like it's so loud and then we got we got to where we're staying and i was like oh no it's actually coming from the car yeah <laughs> So I would wow. say that's probably the worst. I love worst it part for me. Oh, for okay. you, so that's the best, part. The best part for me is the the music. Yeah, yeah. In the car. Okay. <laughs> um, for me, the worst part is when we went to it's we went to the beach on April second, which no one else was at the beach, but we were like we're trying to be gay, we're yeah. trying to have gay experiences. We find out where the gay beach is. It beach. sounds like sex. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. we're trying to find a gay experience. Well, yes. Yes. And so we go to the beach. We go to Will Rogers Beach, mm-hmm. which we've heard is potentially a gay beach. Sure. Well, um, <laughs> we, well there were two gays like, at the beach, and it was yeah, a gay yeah, beach. Yeah. We turned it it's into like a, a gay dog beach. beach. Like, why did to label <laughs> it? Gay friendly. So and that's the problem: is that all the beaches here are both a gay beach and a dog beach yeah. because they're all just kind of beaches. Because I remember in New York when you went to the gay beach. 
you were called? seeing full. Is it Jacob Reese? Yeah, yeah Reese. you're yeah. seeing Dick. full frontal nudity. <laughs> yes, full frontal yeah, yeah, nudity yeah. at the gay Almost beach. Almost incessant. Yes, like yeah. in New York, out here people will be like, "Will Rogers is the gay beach." That's also the beach that my parents go to to watch the sunset. Yeah. Like <laughs> exactly. it is just a beach. I'm like, oh, right. so you're in a turtle neck. Okay, that's yes, amazing. It's just like all the beaches here are just a beach, you know. Yeah. But we were on this quest to find the gay part of the beach, so we like parked all the way at the end. And I was like, Andrew, it's gonna be a long walk. We opened the app Sniffies, which is like an anonymous gay sex hookup app that is map based. But Sniffies? to be clear, you're just looking for friends. We're just looking to find the beach. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were, you no, said Apple Maps map. isn't working. No, yes, yeah. I said, well, okay. I said, well, look, look at the biggest collection of like gay men yeah. on this beach, and we'll go there. Perfect. So it was like. Lewis and Clark era exploration. <laughs> Beautiful. We're walking down the beach using Sniffies as our only guide. Did and you find it? No, this is where it gets this is where This is why it was the worst experience for me. Is So we we walk, I'm not joking, at least two miles on the beach. Yeah. Like, And I'm wearing jeans. And we're... <laughs> <laughs> we have walked two miles down the beach. And I, I feel really responsible because I kind of was like, let's... Let's keep trekking along. I'm sure we'll get there. Yeah. Um. So we finally, we finally start seeing the rainbow lifeguard shafts, and <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it's coming the up." Life, the, the rainbow, rainbow lifeguard. lifeguard. Yeah. He's waving his hand. He's like, this oh, gay beach right here. Yeah. Like, but we were like, we have to be there. Between us and the rainbow lifeguard shack was no. a ravine of like extra water that's coming from the city through the beach at a speed that I could not even imagine potentially crossing. And I say to Joe, I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm like. Because you're the, the moment, brave one. Yeah, the moment I would set my foot in there. And I, you're gonna drown. It's so <laughs> funny too, because at this point, you could probably see there was pretty much no one on that beach. Yes, no, there was no one. So it's like, what are there you even families. going to? Yeah, there were yeah. more families. That's so funny. But we ended oh. up, we turned around. You turned around, how, wait, how, how wide was it? I'm not joking. It was uncrossable. This is like Oregon yeah. Trail. Why? It wasn't even for that gay men. wide. It was just really fast. But then we found <laughs> one other man in the speedo and just like Sat went near him. him. Sure. Near him. Yeah. Why do gay men need so many apps? Lesbians <sighs> have none. We literally don't have any. And people in the comments so will be like, "What apps. about Lex?" No, lesbian. There's no like the way that gay men have apps like. Are you guys all in tech? Like, what is going no, on? For every uh, feeling. And, like, like it's for every emotion. Like, oh, do you... Oh, this is not for gay men if they want to find a music buddy. I'm yeah. like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> just, like, go talk to someone. It's have you heard of Instagram? Come Listen, on. Listen, I was just thinking last night, there needs to be more of these. That's so I was just thinking more last night. Because, listen... You just need a map. I just need... <laughs> I just need Google Maps at yeah. all times. No, I was just thinking this because, like, there's something really sick and, like, um... It's like Las Vegas with the apps at some points because all you're really doing is like refreshing and seeing if like you get a jackpot. Yeah. So when you're doing that, like when you get into the <laughs> sick, twisted, like horny mind space yeah. where you're like, I need some form of validation. I need someone to reply. I need to lock something in. Like you're going grinder, refresh, scruff, scruff, refresh, sniffies, refresh. Like so if there was just another one to be more fun, there's more avenues. And it's all the or same. Or does it get darker and darker? Well, the more I thought you were going to say it's, incorporate well, getting... a financial element into it like Vegas. Well, that would be even better. <laughs> and you actually could do that. We're getting paid? That's just off, like under the, the books. Like the more like swipes you get or something. There's it's some eight men, money. but ever yeah. so often it's $100. Yeah. yeah. You swipe yeah, $100. Yeah. I would love, I would be doing it outside. Well, I'm doing it for free. Wow. So, yeah. so are you looking for sex on this vacation? Well, I mean... Yeah, kind of. Okay. I mean, the thing is, like, <laughs> no, because the other night we were sitting on the couch and Joe was like, "I'm not letting you leave here until you have sex," because I, <laughs> I said, "I will take wow. matters into my own hands." Yes. <laughs> it's getting scary. Yeah, because I just how like, long has it been? It's been a <laughs> Too second. Much. It's been a really long time, okay. kind of. I, mean, I would say a few months. It's so, not bad. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. But before those few months was like <laughs> a, a few it. other months. Yeah. Um, and I'm just trying to like get it. Yeah. Um. And there's definitely some potential prospects. It's just the whole idea of like leaving your space mm -hmm. and being like, okay, I'm going to do this. Uh -huh. I'm going to go there. It's going to happen. And yeah. then you leave and you're like, okay. And it didn't happen. Why don't no. they just come to your space? They can. But then I'm also like, I don't want you here. So I'm, <laughs> I'm the problem. Okay. But also, there's another reason why you can't host on this trip. <laughs> yeah. So 
Okay, that's Wait. cryptic, and we'll find out after we finish rolling what the deal is. Sorry, audience, that's you not could say for it. you, I guess. What? Why you can't host in our current living situation? Why can't I? Oh, well, oh, no, the room that I'm saying it has a crib and, like, <laughs> <laughs> I have, like, a bunch of baby books. So it would kind of be like I would have to immediately take on a kink that I'm not willing to take on, you know? It would that be is so funny because if I went to someone's house to have sex, <laughs> they come over and they had like, a crib. I would even if they were like, uh, "It's in here," and be like, "That's just in here." I would be like, "There's a kid in their closet." Yeah, yeah. 100%. Really. There's a child, child in their yeah. closet. Or it's like some like Goo Goo Gaga fetish, and I can't do that. You yeah. wouldn't do it. But this no. is what I told you. What did I say to you when I saw you in New York? I said, "The next time you come to LA, just stay with us because we don't it, have yeah. a crib in our house and we have a gay male roommate." And I- yet. You, you got an Airbnb you been with fucking on a child couch. living in it. <laughs> I could have been fucking for 10 days straight. Yeah. So. 100%. What's the best thing you've done in LA? Oh, the best. Well, if you don't say last night, I'm yeah. going to. Yeah, no. Right. This is mind. so sick. Yeah. This is so upsetting to me. Okay, so can I work. I had to go to work yesterday. So I, I went work. to work. And then. Thank you for doing that for yeah. us. You're welcome. I'm taking care <laughs> of our winner. family. Yeah, I had to go to work. Kendall's manager is like texting me like, so can you come to the Spotify dinner tonight? I'm like, when does it start? She's like, five. I'm like, I get off work at five, and I can't make it there in time. Like, no big deal. So then (laughs) I'm like, but whatever. Who cares? Like, Kendall will go do this work thing and then come home. So I go home after work. I put on a muumuu and microwave myself some Chinese food. Of course. And then I see a text that you two are going to be at the Spotify event, which I didn't even think about. Of course Mm. I should have. I didn't think about it. So then I'm like, okay, that's already annoying to me because now I wish I was there. Then Kendall's manager is texting me and is like, I'm forcing Kendall to go to the JoJo Siwa (laughs) event release of her karma song. And I'm like, I actually wish I was dead. This is so crazy that you guys went out and had the best night of your lives <laughs> while I was at home organizing all of Kendall's creams in the bathroom. I literally creams. said You're to you so two good. last night, I was like, something about tonight. I have not felt this feeling since I was in high school. Mm. I literally am like, LA is our fucking city tonight. Yeah, you said anything can happen Anything tonight. can yeah. fucking happen. And anything happened. A everything lot happened. happened. So we go to this JoJo <laughs> A party. So she's at hosting at Rocco's. Is yeah, that what she was called? doing a Reho takeover. Inter- like she had a 30 minute time slot and she was in and out. And she showed her music video Karma four, four times. times. <laughs> because everybody in the audience was like, Again! one more time. Like we were giving her Say the my name. She Say needed. my name. It was me. One more. I was losing my mind. I felt so embarrassed. I actually had like embarrassment after where I was like, yes. you know, when you like are really drunk, I wasn't even really mm-hmm. drunk. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm so embarrassed for how excited I got, which is so funny because I did not go into this as like a diehard JoJo fan, no. but you put me in any concert situation, I'm going to lose my shit. I mean, I would say this is one of the best things about Kendall. She can be a fan of anything. Love in the right mm-hmm. circumstances, Kendall can be a fan of yep. anything. And I was. That's and I was real. losing my fucking yep. mind. And the music was good. Because it was so, was so again, it was such good. an intimate experience. We felt like friends and family. I literally <laughs> felt like she was going to invite us to Christmas Eve next year because we were like looking each other in the eye. So it felt really intimate. It was yes. just beautiful. so bizarre and strange. She's crying. She was, she was crying. She was crying. And she also said, what did she say at one point? I turned to you and I said, oh. that's unacceptable. She said, <laughs> What was it? She would said something along the lines of like, I oh, love you from my left, left tit, tit to my, my right tit. tit. Everything, and everything in between. <laughs> and we and were like, everything in all between. right. So then. When she went though, yeah, because she was crying and she goes, you know what? Fuck all of you guys <laughs> for making me cry. <laughs> and <laughs> Fuck all of you guys. And we were all like. <laughs> she also always took every saying a little too far. Like at one point she was like, I feel so much love right now. Like I just literally in the middle of that song shit a brick, which already pushes it for me. But then she goes, no, seriously, the brick is right on this stage. <laughs> and you said, excuse me. And she I went, wait, that's gross up. actually. She has, she has to, to do stand, stand up. up. The so look she was serving yeah. last night too, it was kind of like, whoa. And then when you saw her, listen, we'll get into the next bit, but. <laughs> I was, she's one step away from doing an aerial routine. You know what I mean? She's the next <laughs> And that actually mean, does come into later. <laughs> she's not so one like, step away. She's so she close did to one. She's she did so do an aerial routine. She's giving pain. Yeah, she's giving, she's giving pain. pain. Yes. The music was good. I, I felt, I feel embarrassed because she kept saying, fuck my haters. Dick Everybody wads. fucking, they're dick we were, wads. We kind of the haters. And I was like, out. that is a little bit me. I, I'm not a hater as her as a person. Yeah. Of course. But I was just like, I don't know if what this rebrand is it. Or, I mean, I'm yeah. not alone in that. Because even if I was, like, I was posting to my story and people were responding, being like, "Is this a joke? Like, I'm, should I be laughing?" It I'm like, started as a "No, joke. it's you might be laughing because it's like JoJo Siwa releasing like actual 
music for our demographic, but it's actually really good. Well, first of all, I got there and I immediately, Karma, a song I've heard a million times and I've said to Jordan, I don't know what I think about it, whatever, 50 times. All of a sudden I was crying, screaming every word, being like, this is my favorite song. <laughs> then the next songs came and I was like, she, I, th- I was like, she's the Kesha of our time, which is crazy for me to say because I fucking love Kesha, but yeah. not as crazy as what you said in an on the, uh, man on, on the, the street record. interview. Okay, well, this is the thing. When I have a few drinks, and I had a few drinks last night, and I had a, yeah, anyways, I'm on the street, <laughs> he, he pulls out a camera, and he's like, can you, like, give me your- Who is he? Is this a man a you're already with? No. no. This is a man that pulls out a camera and walks up to you. Yes. And I'm so ready. I'm like, he's like- Me and Kendall just... were we hiding sprinted. by the tree. <laughs> can you give your honest feedback on JoJo Siwa's um, music? And I said, honestly, I think that <laughs> I was like, it was amazing. Charlie XCX is shaking. Addison Ray has been really quiet. And I think that she could be the next queen of pop. <laughs> and then he stopped recording. And I was like, I'm going to get canceled. So... <laughs> and we come up to him and go, why did you talk so much? You did not need to say a soliloquy about the JoJo Siwa. And then he was like, I am going to get fully, my career is going to be over because of this. But listen. She's going to send you a car wrapped in <laughs> pictures of her face is what's going to happen. Well, I hope She's so. going to love that. She's going to put that on her story. <sighs> Oh, that's all we need. That's, that's all, all we need. need. It was that's so all we good. all need. Okay, we have to stop talking about this or I'm going to get so yeah. upset. One more. I have to say one more thing. <laughs> Did you bring the shirts? Yes. Yeah. Should we put them on? Yeah. <laughs> if someone didn't get a shirt for me, I'm going to fucking what are we gonna do? freak out. It was one out. shirt a person. It was one <laughs> shirt a person. This is so messed up because Kendall and I don't do anything without each other. I'm going to be so sick. Mean, I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick. They have huge JoJo shirts. And on the back, it says, Karma's a bitch, bad girl. Mine says, bad girl, Kendall. Yours says, bad girl. No, it doesn't. Oh, let me just... <laughs> It doesn't say it? It just says, bad girl? It just says, bad girl. Oh, and I think girl. Andrew says, good girl? Good. Yeah, good girl, Mine says, good girl. girl. I'm not oh. going to take off my sweater in this moment. I mean, I... <laughs> that's always... the precedent is, is that, that okay Andrew has, has I just set. Did it. Everyone's taking it off. Is it okay with the group if I suddenly take off? Yeah. I have nothing underneath those. Yeah, that's fine. I can't believe you're putting that on over my sweater that I just bought. Is that okay? I guess it's fine. This is absurd to me that we're here. This is, I'm going to be sick. (laughs) I absolutely can't believe this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Bad girl. I fucking Did you ask for one for me? I know the answer is no. Yes. Yeah. No, not you. No. I'm sure either one of you could have asked. Kendall asked. I don't think Kendall asked. (laughs) I was drunk, and I also had just gotten a face painting. I also, we did a photo booth where my eyes looked like a demon, and I actually had kind of I knew you were drunk. You came home, and I was like, are you drunk? And Kendall was like, no. And then she did what she always does when she's drunk, which is this. Kendall goes to the foot of our bed, and this is after she's, like, taken off most of her clothes, but still has some of her outfit on from the night, and she goes like this at the foot of our bed, looking at herself in our sliding door mirror. Stop. She goes, <laughs> yes, you were throwing and just it back. She shakes her ass while making direct eye contact with herself. And bad girl. That's, self-love. That's the Siwa of bad girl. That's that bad girl she energy. Anytime she comes oh. home drunk. And then I'm like in the middle of something and she's like, okay, so you're mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no. I get very confrontational when I'm you do. drunk. Or not in a scary way. I mean, it sounds like when I get you drunk, I get yeah. really mean. You start no, I just will start. St- I'll be like, why are you looking at me like that? You have a problem with me? Jordan's like, I'm watching TV. I'm like, yeah. Okay. That's what it seems like. <laughs> um, no, we went into, the, this is the last thing I have to say about it, is that we go into an after party, and I don't know if I told you this, but I turned to you and I was like, I don't want to do this because there's a woman at the front who is has a list of names, and we're not on it. So we were going to have to walk up and then walk through a crowd of people being like, sorry, we weren't on the list. And I'm glad I wasn't there for that because I would not have done that. Yeah, I would rather mortifying. be dead. And it, it was gets so worse. mortifying. And so I go up and you, <laughs> Andrew goes, I don't want to take the lead. And I went, I'll take the lead. I walk up and she goes, what's the name on the list? And I just said my name. And then she goes, that's not on the list. And I went, I know. I'm really sorry. (laughs) And then they were like, you have to go. So then we came, we left, and then we figured out a way to get in. I felt like I was like breaking into a college party. It was really. That's what it felt like. But we got in there and JoJo was on a uh, acrobatic She was spinning. spinning. She was spinning in the air. Yeah. And so we're still reeling from it, but. 
I'm sorry that's enough of JoJo. This is so crazy that I wasn't there. Yeah. If I were you, you I felt would like actually, you were there. You're in being really nice because if I were you, I would be choking everyone in the room. No <laughs> one would be. <laughs> I mean, the fact that everyone's wearing matching shirts except me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wearing I, Diane von Furstenberg for Target. I would be uh, having a makes mental me sick breakdown. to my stomach. <laughs> makes me sick from my left hit to my right hit <laughs> and everywhere in between. Yes. <laughs> um. So we have to get into the actual episode, sorry, no, no, no. which the premise of this episode is. Love and best friends. You two are best friends, not dating for yes. anyone who doesn't listen to their podcast, which if you don't, you need to. It's, so it's funny. the funniest podcast in the world, including ours. And you have <laughs> to go listen to it. But you two are best friends. You've been best friends since you were children. Yes, yes. since four years old. Un- That's believable. insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unbelievable. Hard Rock Hotel Pool. That's, really That's sweet. so yeah. sweet. But I'm sure you have so much to say about love and friendship and dating and how all that plays together we have so many questions from our fans because you wait you guys are probably there for like each other's first kiss well well were we you were each other's first kiss (laughs) no no, 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 no. No. wait you've kissed though right no No. (gasps) you've never kissed never kissed and also barely touch this has been going on on a lot on this trip like two two questions they were like oh you guys are best best friends you've been best friends forever but like you like Right? You guys have, like, maybe done stuff? And it hasn't happened a lot. It happened at the beginning of the podcast where we were getting that, but it's, like, coming back up. Like, even yesterday, someone yesterday, last night, hit on you and then was like, oh, but I'm sure your boyfriend, like, knows that about me. Like, that, and that never happens. But But leading up to this episode, it's been going on. Wow. Wow. I mean, I knew you guys were never a thing, but I'm like, when you start, regardless of whether or not you're gay, straight, it doesn't matter. I'm like, when you're friends that young, you're kissing, I feel like. No, right? no, not me. I mean, I feel like any best friend. <laughs> Damn, I could not be more ostracized yeah. during this episode. No, like, ever. Um, like, I've talked about this. Any best friend I've ever had, I am like, weirdly, I'm very touchy. I'm very affectionate. But if you're my best friend, I'm not even fucking giving you a hug. Like, yeah. I'm just like you. And my best friend, Nicole, and I talk about this all the time because I, I was like, yeah, I could never. I'm like, she's so attractive and so hot and so amazing. And I'm always like, God, someone needs to grab her she's like the best but the thought of like kissing her i literally could not do it i like could not do i it. feel like yeah my adult gay friends would probably have started with either like a hookup or a yeah. kiss or whatever now i'm like you're my bestie like, but, like our number one best friend who we're moving in with was someone that i was dating for like a few weeks a few yeah. years ago who is now like a best friend but we the but level like, of repression yeah. like we didn't come out until we were 21 and yeah. 20 and 21 Got it, so okay. like and prior to that i mean i did not experiment remotely yeah. at really? all Same. no yeah it okay. was like no. coming out was the beginning of then being like okay now yeah. i should start trying to kiss boys yeah. so you hadn't even dip your toe in the pool but you were like mm-hmm. i want to go swimming dip yeah. my toe in any I, I had yeah. to yeah i had to get, gain access to the pool and then i would start swimming i would never break that rule mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah and coming out is a rule um, <laughs> i came out and i started do. doing the backstroke yeah. <laughs> it was really crazy <laughs> yeah. that is so funny but you were there for each other's every like a lot of so wait when you had your first kiss you guys didn't tell each other oh yeah no yeah. I, I actually don't know i don't know either wow. but i feel like i'm listen when joe had a girlfriend in high school oh, i was on sarah. every single date <laughs> so like i sucking was there sarah. for a lot of the first sarah. sucking with sarah yeah that's what we call her on the podcast she's horrible. not a sucker and she didn't suck but she's become sucking sarah that's and she loves she loves yeah she loves she calls her fans her suckies <laughs> 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 Okay, she's a gay man as well. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like. Yeah, but like first kiss and everything, I feel like I just knew it wasn't like something that like you kissed. I definitely Sarah did not like, inform you. I kissed. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like that. It was like I remember it happening. I don't remember telling anyone really. Okay, I was like, ew, you guys kiss? That's crazy. <laughs> He's like seventeen. <laughs> like, I was sixteen, yeah. I believe. I was the same way. Like when I was. <laughs> 18. What are you laughing about? Just me not having anything in common with all of you again. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, do you want to wear this? No. I know I, I don't want to be here. You're just really well adjusted. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're just dealing with a lot. I guess that's here. You're kind of babysitting in some ways. Yeah. So. No. <laughs> I, uh, well, you need only try. I was the same way, though. Like, I was like 18 years old. Maybe this isn't the same, but I was like 18 and being like, People would be like, oh, are you seeing anyone? Like, do you have a boyfriend? And I'd be like, no. And I genuinely thought this in my head. I wasn't like, oh, I'm gay. I just genuinely in my head was like, 
I'm just like not in into like dating yet. Like I'm too young. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not yeah. into dating. And I swear if I didn't realize I was gay, I would be now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just I just sank myself in the chair. <laughs> I swear I would be 24, being like, I'm just like waiting for my like dating era. Mm-hmm. Like I like a 12 year old would say that. I'm just not into dating yet. That's so funny. I was 13 and I was like, I am 30 years old and should be treated as such. Good for I you. Know. I mean, was it? Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> was I it? don't know. I don't know. I think I. So it's just me and my parents. I don't have any siblings or anything. Mm. We're not really close to family. We moved around a lot. So it was always just me and my parents and their adult gay male friends. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think it was just different. And I was like, yes, we are all adults who are gay men who are like watching Rocky Horror Picture together, like ro- watching Rocky Horror Picture together at this Halloween party. Yep. <laughs> like that was just like what the vibe was. Yeah. And I think I just was like, so I'm also an adult. But then I also think I was like 13 year olds dating people who were like 17. Oh, jeez. Not Moment in a of sad silence. way. <laughs> like, Everyone quiet. Like, oh. for Not in a sad way. <laughs> in a cool way. Right. No, I just right. was I'm like, sorry. I think, no, I think I'm very lucky because I think things could have gone south really easily. Yeah. yeah. But I think it, I don't know. I just feel like I was not, I just was like really, it wasn't even like I was in a rush to grow up. I thought I had art. I thought I was already grown. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I was that. like, we're all just adults. Like, paying our taxes and going to the grocery store. Right. It's so living in a city, though, too. Because, yes. But yeah. you guys grew up in a city. No. Because no. you're from Staten Island? No. Long Island? Long Island. Long Island. Island. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. But it's the farthest thing from the city, truly. Wow. Yeah. I'm so, I just assume it's so it's like, sheltered. It's so suburban. It's like, yeah, your mom's driving you I didn't cross the street until I was like 15. <laughs> wow. And Joe, I remember you like texting me the first time you were like crossing Well, I remember street. I used to make you cross the street for me. Which is, imagine, <laughs> I got We would hit. like walk to get Italian ices in the summer and it was like like a big main road and I would be like, Andrew, get me an iced Coke, please. Oh! An iced cola, please. And well, that's you, literally Jordan to me now. We have well, a Seven Eleven across from us, and Jordan's like, like, "Please go, get me, go nice get me one." But I would like watch him across the street as Andrew crossed the street, got me the ice, and then came back. Because you were lazy, or because you were scared. I was scared. So well, I have a license. It's so sweet. Yeah. yeah. You do you have a license now? No, no, I never will. Wow. Unless I get when, when I don't remember her age, but whatever age Lady Gaga was when she got her license is my deadline. I believe it was thirty-two. Okay. And wait, how old, how old are you? 27. How old are you? I'm turning 28 at 27. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm also the oldest person in this room. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. So we're getting a lot of feelings from Jordan over here. I'm having uh, a bad day. I was well, like, today's going to be no! the most fun episode we've ever recorded. No. Now I was like, wait, should I leave? <laughs> Jordan, you're being what so What would we drama. do without you? Could you even imagine? No. I know exactly no. how you no. feel, though, because I've been in this situation. Again, if I was as excluded as you have been so far... I would lock that door. Well, and I did it to myself. I think that's the bad thing. I did it to myself. Well, kind of. I had to go to work to pay um, our bills. Our face wash looks really good in the bathroom. And that's a huge plus. Our bathroom looks incredible. What did you choose for breakfast? Okay, so and so last night when we were at the JoJo Seal party, Jordan, I get an email from Jordan, and I was like, "You guys, I have to show you this because it is so (laughs) So good." Them, it's so Jordan and. So just like wonderful, but very, it's just so funny. Jordan has sent me a Google form in which they talk to me like I am an employee. <laughs> they say, please choose two items from each category. Um, Jordan has made a menu for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for next week that I can pick from. I can fill it out on the Google calendar. So good. I pick what I want, and then Jordan's going to make it next week. Literally the sweetest thing on planet Earth. It's Truly. so fun. It's like a HelloFresh subscription. Literally, like... except they don't text me. Somehow, HelloFresh still texts me more than my own fiance <laughs> sure. does um but so i'm very excited for that so i was showing them that it's at the so party. smart Aww. it's great like i i need somebody to do that for me and i feel like yeah. i would be that person for yeah, you yeah i'm shocked that you don't do that yeah. well, <laughs> it sucks like i'm gonna have to i'll start making a google doc yeah well we'll get to work on the google form and it'll take a little bit it'll take a little bit for me to get there because we've seen that in recent history I'm just not very tech savvy, and it doesn't matter if it's like a Google form. It's gonna take me a second, and that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm always like, who is who? Because it feels like, who do we think? Well, that's. I do believe. Okay, that I also we're believe, and I'm also for some reason in my mind, it's also because we're both taller. Yeah. I am not taller than Kendall. So I don't know why I think that, but I'm like, yes, it's like everything, but also we're both taller and I'm not. 
it, what do we think it is? Because sometimes you say I, things and I'm very attuned with you, but I, I feel like we have a very have food. similar food. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, like yes. yeah, that's yes. where I feel like we're very okay, similar. Okay, the most connected. But I do feel like we are also very similar, mm -hmm. and just yeah. like they have a sweet aura, energy. Energy. Aura. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> the, the, the two no, of you, you share a sweetness that I feel as if we may lack <laughs> oh, in some ways. Sweet. We are sweet, sweet, aren't we? We're very cute. We're sharper. Yeah, there's like something about us that's a little yeah, a little more to the point. Little you feel like sweet. both of you for some reason if there was a like if I had just met sorry I just punch this if I had just met the both of you and we were all four in a situation and something like I had a question mm -hmm. I would go to <laughs> one of you and I don't think oh. anyone would go to us never I completely and I mean agree. that as a not a that negative is, thing because no. no one would come to me I agree but even just meeting such us a, such an amazing <laughs> phrase if I had a question <laughs> Like no one's asking us no. for information. Even if we, ha even if I was like, "This is my house," someone would go to you to be like, "Where is the bathroom?" Because <laughs> Kendall's not gonna fucking be like, like, "I don't know. Let me know when you find it." Um, oh I my love God. that. Wow, that's right. Okay, you hit the nail on the head with that one. Well, we do have some audience questions. Yeah, let's get into Please. them, though, friends. Sorry, the yeah. first half is usually uh, we talk about other things, but we just talked about JoJo Siwa the whole yes. time, yeah. and that was right. So this week we asked our wonderful viewers what questions they had about dating and having a best friend. Yeah, so just like anything like how having a best friend relates to your dating life, mm -hmm. if you're in love with your best friend, if yep. you're having a best friend falling out because they're in a, a different relationship, whatever the thing is, we were just like, ask us about love and friendship, which I think are so closely tied. Of course. Yes. So first of all, I want to ask, this is one of the questions, did either of you have a friend growing up you had a crush on? Because I feel like that's such yes. a common gay experience and I never had that. Same. I've had that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't have it really, I don't think. But he was straight, and that was my problem, right? Mm. It's like you fall in love when you're, again, I was very repressed, so I was like in high school or college, and I was like drawn to this man. Well, because you also I, know nothing's going to happen. Exactly, but in my mind, I'm like, it could. Yeah. And is that what and you, you live thought? For the, it could. You were thinking it could, or were you so repressed that you were like, I don't know why I want to be friends with him? No, I think I was thinking like, it's like, why do you always want to hang out with me? Yeah. Like, you always want to make sure that I'm with you. And I'm kind of like, this is a relationship. And is that was my idea of a relationship. He's he straight. No. You already said that. Yeah. You just, what you said sounded so gay, I had to ask again. No, because if you were to look so at it yes. from a bird's eye view, it was very gay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we were, for sure. But it was never intimate. Any, like, cuddling? Kind. It wasn't, like, cuddling, but it was, like, again on the same bed watching a movie and like kind of like next to each other vibes. Yeah. Or if I was going out, he would be like, why are you going out tonight? Like hang it, like hang back with me. Wow. It's so hard because I think that that is very gay, obviously, especially yeah. for you because you are gay. But I also do think that straight men should be able to have soft friendships for and sure. they're just not allowed to have that. But I'm like, was but this I would man never having... sit on the couch next to Andrew and touch shoulders. Well, you're mean. I, well, that's, so that's you're, yeah. you're not soft at all, just like me. <laughs> yeah. No, so you we're can't on have the a same soft wavelength. Friendship. Like we literally like will brush and we're like immediately like get away from me. That's yeah. a lot. I can't relate to that because my best friend Lily insists on sitting on the same side of the booth as me when we go out to eat together. No, like, see, I would lose my mind. Yeah. Wow. Like I actually think that this trip we've touched more we've touched than a lot. A lot. Guys, trip. Like, have you ever had a long hug? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and who had died? <laughs> was, yeah. yeah, it was, it was always like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I knew yeah. it. But that's sweet. I still don't. I mean, some of my cl like Nicole. We always talked about because we like we were like we don't really hug. Yeah. Also because we live together, so it's like when the fuck am I gonna hug yeah. you? There's yeah. one time I'm like I get home from work and I'm like come here, yeah. please. Yeah. I think um, that's true. a surprising thing about you that I don't hug my close friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm very. I do a lot of like. <laughs> Slap, especially yeah. if you get a drink in me, I'm very insecure about oh it. If I God. have one drink in you me, slap? I am like slapping the seal slapper. over here. I will slap. They say anything. They're like, "Oh, we have to cross the street." I'm like, oh. I'm like, don't You're touch like... the waiter. Or I want to like hold. I did it to you a bunch last night. I don't even remember. You that, kept... unfortunately, I <laughs> you did get George to see his attention. <laughs> And Kendall was like, pay attention to me. Literally. No, I was like, he kept like tapping JoJo, which was you? Such, like, yeah. Yeah, kept because... tapping JoJo? I'm a, I'm a tapper. Well, it when means I, when I have a drink, to say want... what? You wanted a picture. picture. Well, no. What I was going to say to JoJo, because I wanted to ease her into it, I was going to say, you're about to take over Brooklyn, and I'm really proud of you. Can we get a picture? That's good. She yeah. would have loved, loved, loved that. And she I watched loved him, because I know what courage it would take to like be like I'm gonna tap her so so you tap her and then she kind of half turns and then someone else started talking to her and she, you'd already gone so, hello mm -hmm. and then he stopped and I 
out of sheer panic because I felt Slapped. so bad, I just grabbed both your shoulders and went. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I get it, but yeah, I'm a big toucher. Yeah. Okay. First question. First question. My boyfriend doesn't seem to click with any of my girlfriend's boyfriends. They get along fine, but I want him to enjoy double dating as much as I do, and it's obvious it's a bit of a chore for him. Uh oh. <sighs> That's a my lot to ask, I think. It's boyfriend. in my opinion, it's a lot to ask to get along the with your girlfriend's friends' friends boyfriends. Completely. I'm like, that's a huge <laughs> Like reach does he get along with, with the, the friends? girlfriends? If that's what's necessary. Yeah. Yes. Well, but the one part, because I agree, but then the other thing is she's like, it's obvious it's a chore for him. And I don't know if she's put that on him yeah. or if it actually is, but I'm like, that's a bummer if he's been like, oh, I don't want to And how often is, are they like, are the girlfriends so hanging out with them as a boy. couple as opposed to everybody together? I, guess. I also want to know, I does she of... like her friend's boy boyfriends? Or boyfriends? Right. Because mm. if she likes her friend's boyfriends and he doesn't, that also feels like a little bit weird to me because I'm like, oh, if you really like them, what does he not like about them if right. you like them? But yeah. if you also don't care about yeah. them that much, but you're like, well, it doesn't matter for me because I get to be with my friends and you get to be with the boyfriends. So yeah. this like, would be sucks. like if I was dating, if we were both dating someone. Yes. And... Like, my boyfriend did not like Andrew's boyfriend. Yes. Well, then I think that would... No, it, I mean, it wouldn't really... I'd be like, well, fucking deal with it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Right, it just wouldn't... It's like, really... I, who cares? Right. This is a random person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. unless, like... <laughs> we could be on vacation with if them. If it was, like, really, like, really, really, really visible, yeah. then I probably would be like, hey, Joe, is there, is yeah. there a problem yeah. with, you Yeah, if you he was know, being, like, like, mean, but she said they get along fine. It's oh, like, well... Yeah. That's what fine. more? Could I could get, you ask like they go, want to go on trips. Yeah, I could or go something. international with someone they got along fine with. I wouldn't yeah. bat an eye because as long as you can go home and talk shit. That's yeah, also what are the situations need. that they're in? Is it like just like social situations that double you're like dates? At, double dates. You're like at dinner. You're doing a game night. I'm like, it's fine. You don't have to be obsessed with these yeah. random men. You didn't. How much can you break know. through at like a double date? Yeah, I don't know. I also, agree. it's like be the person that he can just shit on them too. Because exactly. I'm like, that's the best thing. If you if you have a friend who you don't like someone that they're close with, whatever, it's fun. Or even if you just meet a couple and you're like, yeah. oh, I do not like that person, it's nice to like get in the car with you and be like, yes. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, exactly. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> 100%. I completely agree. Okay. Be meaner. Yeah. Literally, Talk just shit. let, just let, let him have that. Yeah. And this is the answer to most of these questions because I swear to God, there were 60 questions that were just, how do I keep my mouth shut? Like I got that yeah. question. Mm. So because people are like, I don't like my friend's boyfriend. I don't like my friend's boyfriend. I don't like my friend's boyfriend. And people are struggling. So someone says, my friend is seeing someone who is clearly clashing with their values, but they won't break up. And after talking and pointing this out, and she agreed, do I keep pushing it or do I let it go? Values? Values. Yeah, I guess that's hard. Because I'm like, what values? Are they homophobic? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that would be are they, like, deeply offensive? Or are they just kind of, like, but I'm like, what well, value? Like, maybe religious values? Maybe. So, I'm sorry. I honestly didn't really hear the statement. The friend is clashing. The friend's no, boy. Yeah. They have sorry, clashing no, views. The girlfriend, the, the, the part, the couple. Yeah. The couple has, has yeah. clashing views. I mean, you gotta let it go. I think vocalize it and then move on. And yeah. if it's such an issue, then I guess you can be like, I need to take a step yeah. away from our friendship yeah. because this person you're dating sure. is so morally corrupt. Yeah. Which also kind of implies how you actually feel. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah. And like I if you're willing to date someone who has terrible values. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Privately, do you have those terrible values? Sure. I mean, why would that be your friend? Yeah. 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 Clearly, you don't care that. that much. Yeah. Because yeah. also, and just say it. Like, this could be with anything, but it's just like anytime it comes up, if she's complaining, like, oh, just say what your truth. Just like, what oh, have it I seems told like you? you guys have different values. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seems like you have different values. Like, as long as you've, like, explained it to her yeah. or to them, like, it's, yeah. At least she knows, but yeah. it's their problem. But I think it's hard. With friends, you never want to become, like... In the relationship, angry mother in law that's yeah. like, no one's perfect enough for my little girl, you know? Yeah, because it's yeah. like, well, who your friends date, it's just like, as long as they're not being abusive, like you can take a step back and be like, yeah, they're not yeah, who I would date, yeah. but you're not dating them, it's fine. But you can also draw lines in the sand being like, I don't want to spend time with that person. Yeah. Like if your friend, and I completely agree with you that if your friend has a really fucked up partner, that probably says something about your friend and maybe mm -hmm. you don't want to be friends yeah. with your yeah, friend exactly. anymore. But at the same time, like I can be like, hey, I love you. Um, Your boyfriend is too rude to waiters. I do not want to go yeah. out yeah. to eat with you guys anymore. You can draw that line in the yeah. sand. Yeah. I think that's But fine. again, like, if they were homophobic, racist, things like that, then, like, yeah. obviously if they're making a certain person feel uncomfortable, then it's a completely different conversation. But if it's, like, clashing random yeah. views, sure. Yeah. Like, whatever. Yeah. 
what's the difference between loving someone and being in love with someone? And I think that's a great question for you two because yeah. you really determined early on, like, we are not in love. We just love each other. Yeah. Hmm. That is a really great question. I feel like my understanding of love is, like, still something that I've been developing in my, my late 20s. Like, again, because we came out so late because, like... Oh, I had no relationships to really found that on besides familial. Yeah. It is kind of hard to be like, what is, where do you draw the line in between those two mm-hmm. things? Which I think is the biggest issue for so many like gay friends. Like yeah. it's like the whole homoerotic friendship ending in disaster at all yeah. times. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about this literally yesterday in the car where I was like, it is wild, but it's just like invented by humans. Like there really is not a, difference like and whenever I watch when we watch like The Bachelor and people are like am I feeling in love I'm like well feeling in love is not like really like a real yeah like all of it's just like made up yeah it's kind of like because I think in my head too I'm like I've never been in love but I've experienced so much love mm-hmm. and I have so much Thank love you for, for other people <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. like and it's like like yeah for Joe like I love Joe but I'm not in love with Joe I feel like yeah I contextualize it as like in love is romantic I or, will like, say I think, because I think you can be in love with someone without it being sexual. Yeah. And I think also, like, especially as you get older, like, when yeah. you see those couples that are, like, in their 90s, I'm like, I don't know if that's necessarily, like, a super sexual relationship right, yeah. anymore, but they're so clearly in love. In like, love. what is that? And I think for me, it's like, I do feel like I bare bones, strip it down, love you in the same way that I love Colin, my best friend. Yeah. yeah. I think I love you and Colin in the exact same way, except... I'm a lesbian and he's a gay man. So he likes other gay men and I love other women and non-binary people. So there is like Mm -hmm. a sexual element. But even if you take that away, it's like, I think I love you the same. And I think Mm -hmm. you and I have just chosen to be in a relationship and have a life together. And there are so many more like fun, fancy, exciting things that you can attribute to it. Like, you know, when I met you, you gave me butterflies, like whatever. But when it comes down to it, just like as bare bones as possible, I'm like being in love is loving someone and then making a decision to romantically be together. Yeah. Mm. Does that yeah. feel good or bad to you? No, it feels like I'm just thinking about it. Because I'm like, yeah, that, that makes me feel almost like being in love is like in the beginning. Because then it's like, well, what is it? Like, it really, it doesn't, what is it? So then it's like, yeah. yeah, I guess the being in love, it's like when I was like, oh, I'm in love with you. I was like, I want to be with you. Versus yeah. like, I love you because I like spend a lot of time with you and I care about you. Versus like, oh, I want to like be in a relationship with you. Yeah. But more, that's like, just a decision, right? Yeah, I think well, at first it's I, what, infatuation. What For sure. yeah. I think at yeah. first it's, like it's infatuation. Fast yeah, thing. like I think that's a, a big thing. And I think that's what people usually tell people they're in love with them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the feeling of like looking at someone and being like, I've never felt this feeling. Like, yeah, um, that's like being in love. love. Yeah, I'm yeah. in love with you. Also, and I think sometimes dangerous. people just want attention. That's when it's the dangerous side yeah. of love, I feel like. Yes. I think it sometimes can be for attention because not even in a bad way, but you're like, well, I want to like say to you something that's going to be like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to say I'm yeah. in love with you. But it's like, yeah, it's hard to be, imagine like in a 50 year relationship being like, I'm really in love. Cause I'm like, yo, yeah, what is that? Right. Like, you're just yeah. like in love. I mean, yeah, like, I guess you're in love. It. I don't know. Yeah, we're in it. Yeah, we're so, literally yeah. just in it. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes in my early 20s in relationships where like very early on, it was an immediate, I love you. I and like, I didn't like... understand what love, I had. I did not know what that feeling was. Yeah. And I was like, and only when I started to actually recognize what that feeling was did I like go back into those relationships. And I was like, oh my God, like if they felt, the way I feel now in that situation. And then I confirmed that for them in that situation. And then I like pulled the rug out so fast. I was like, actually, never mind. I never want to see you again. That's like, what you would do? Yeah. That's what I would do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I regret it so much. I was so bad to date. I would literally ask someone out, like pursue them. Yes. Be like, no. They'd be like, oh, no. I'd be like, no, really? Like, we are <laughs> I, made for each other. Yes. And then would we would date. You. And then the second they were like, wait, I really. Like, I'm putting yeah. my walls down. I really love you. I'd be like, I love I you actually, so much. The next day, I'm like, we have to goodbye. I'm never yeah. seeing you yeah, again. Yeah. It yeah. was so bad. It was mm-hmm. such a pattern. And I was like, I am so... And the, these are people, like, to this day, if they walked in, I would just continually apologize. Even Same. Like, I think about it great. all the time. Yeah, I'm like, so I bad. owe these people such explicit, clear apologies. Mm-hmm. I broke with, up with a girl because one time... This is the most embarrassing fucking thing. We'd been dating for, like, six months. And I had a really... I had just one... I can't even say it. I had Say just it. won UCB cage match. <gasps> Which for those No, of no, you no, who... wait. 
UCB indie cage match. Okay, so for those of you who Hutty. don't know, that's a more embarrassing version of the first thing she said. It is a <laughs> comedy show. It's a it's a comedy theater's improv competition where they put two teams up against each other and you it's by audience vote. Okay. So it doesn't really it's not it's like however many friends you bring you to can the show. Pull together. Okay. Of course, okay. I dedicated to I got all my friends to come. I think we were like canvassing. Every I was canvassing. <laughs> yes. My team won against another and the reason it's indie cage match is meaning there's a real cage match that's for like really good improv teams. This is like people who are in classes going up against each other. Okay. I won that. I was on a high and I called my girlfriend and said, meet me at a bar. And I broke up with her because I said, I don't have time for this. I have to. You should be pushing. in a federal prison. I know. I'm it was a really federal obsessed. prison. You're just you kept pushing and here you are. <laughs> I know, your figure, I know. So Jordan doesn't let me do improv anymore. Yeah, yeah. I, say, I don't think so. Honey. Too much confidence. Yeah, yeah. You're, she's um, gonna get a yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's like because I'm also just like being in love. I'm like people who are asexual can be in love. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't think there has to be a sexual element. And I think there often is, yeah. but I think that like once that goes away or once that initial spark simmers down, I'm still in love with you. So yeah. I think it's like feelings plus commitment plus an act of choice plus just like yeah. that magic sparkle. Yeah. That's a great question. To Would ask having us. a threesome with your best friend and partner ruin the friendship? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We actually That's were propositioned crazy. last night for um, that. From who, Jojo? So someone, yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm no, like, from the Garrett? apps. Yeah. From the apps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who we're moving you with? Garrett <laughs> and you and Ross? What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. What do you mean? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> No, but we were, we, were, we were propositioned last night. Yes, wow. I do think that would be the From end a of listener. the world, I would have to say. Because it's, it's also just like, not how good. close are you, honestly? If you that your best friend that you guys are propositioning threesomes, like, that's the person you call when you're in a car crash, and yeah. the person you might also and have then a threesome it gets with? Messy. Like, I, yeah. I, it's... Yes, I don't necessarily agree with this. I think you can have sex with someone and then call them when you're in a car crash, but I, all, I think, well, like... physically, yes, you could do that, but are you going to I do that? I think you could. I think it, like, could make sense, but I think if you and your partner... If you have a partner and then they have sex with your best friend, I think for 99% of people, yeah. that is not a good idea. No, I think there's 1% yeah. of people that are like really polyamorous and open and yeah. it would not affect them at all. And to you, I say, God bless. But I think for 99% of people, it would not work. Yeah. yeah. No. Hard wouldn't work. work. Wouldn't work. Mm -mm. Hard at work would be, wouldn't work. I would only. It's like I, I would have a threesome with Andrew was one of the partners simply because I think it would make for one of our best podcast episodes. <laughs> the numbers and would like be the storyline is worth it, but I think that the that would be our final season. I completely. You know agree. what I mean? Yeah. Joe's that boyfriend would... walks out of the like out it's of the bathroom and like in a good. yeah, and I'm like, <gasps> you know what I mean? like I'm like looking away. I'm yes. like I'm not supposed to see that. That's not for so, me. It's not for me. It's yes. for Joe. A hundred percent. Okay, this is the final question. Okay. My best friend started dating a mutual friend that I also like, but she doesn't know oh. I like him, and now I don't know how to be around them. Oh, that's devastating. Brutal. Why can't I process Are you any okay? <laughs> no, I, you know what I realized? No, lately he's All I had brutal. today to eat was two, I ordered lunch, crispy rice, salmon. It was two little tiny yeah. pebblets of Pebble. salmon and rice. Yeah. For like 20 And I realized that about 10 minutes ago that I haven't eaten today. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take care of that. I know, yeah. I know. We're going to I'm Korean barbecue. That's yeah. fine. I'm not processing any information. No, so this person is like, I, me and my friend both had a crush on the same person. They started dating that person, but they did not know that I also had a crush on them. Oh. And now they don't know how to hang out Get with over them. it. I mean, but no, but really, because it's so sad. <laughs> It's so sad. You don't want to date that guy. Yeah, I don't know who it is. It. Like, you don't need. What are you gonna like? You can't date them. Like you can't. You can't. You can't. And you can no. never. And so you... it's not going to happen without you being a really bad friend. Yes. And at the end of the day, like there are other people that you can date, of course, and you'll yeah. get over this person. So you're yes. just gonna have to fake it until you make it. And honestly, hanging out with them might be a good practice in that if mm -hmm. you want to continue this friendship it's like also if you love your friend you're like it's you're there for them like yes. there there are going to be qualities in that person that you're going to find in other people yes also you you're going to hear horror stories about that relationship of and course. just use those bad things and say yes. oh, okay I think you need to go on an absolute sex bender yes yeah. Immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you need to have sex with 30 to 40 people yes, yes. immediately immediately <laughs> yeah. yeah but say you have to put face. yourself I was internalizing that I was like yeah you have to just put yourself in that mindset that you have to be like we are not going to date so how am i gonna push yeah, through this yeah. like we're not because you don't 
don't want to open up that you don't want to open up that door yes, because <gasps> you know what you can also do that really helps and yeah. I've done this before when someone's broken up with me is they break up with me and I say great goodbye I'm really good at being broken up with because I am Same. kind of spiteful you were like okay totally fine yeah yes. I'm like this what are you like because I feel like we're the same we're like, like absolutely we will no work worries thanks yeah. for letting me know I will never see you again in my entire life yes. like, I'm going to be unfollowing you and uh-huh. don't take the disrespect I just can never see you again I'm just like moving on and then I zap away wow. yes that's how I feel and what I will do is I will immediately sit down and make a list of things I don't like about that person <sighs> not to be rude not to be mean just to like get down to business to yeah, get over yeah. it to move on and I will just make a list of things that I don't like about them like really don't like things that I find cringy embarrassing mm. upsetting whatever mm. I'll write that list and then I'll fold it up put it in a drawer rip it up throw it away whatever but I'm like I've gotten it out and I think that's what this person should do I think you should sit down and I think you should write out a list of all the things What's you don't the first like about thing that on person. My list? They have and if you join on Patreon, rated. I will send I you the thinking, list of things I don't like I about Kendall. Check the their, their the night's time. sand yeah. door. Yeah. <laughs> because I yep. know. If you join Kendall's our Patreon, list. I will send There's you the list. You, I do that you think are cringy now. That's witchcraft. Yeah. No, but you're... By you're the way. Engaged. <laughs> That's you what you're feedback. doing in that moment. Is which I hate to say. It. I'm, not, like, I'm not trying to get anything bad for <laughs> no, them. No, no, no. But I you're still doing witchcraft. I need to get it, it out of me. Yeah. And I think it's the important, ring is especially. Off. The ring is off. The list is getting. The ring's created. never on. That's what I'll tell you. That's <laughs> how I get it every time. I don't know. Gets to wear it all the time. But I'm like, if you can just remind yourself, like, because it's so easy to be like. Oh, but this person and then really like romanticize them yeah. and be like I wish I was my friend and whatever like you need to sit down and figure out what you don't like and why that's not a good situation okay, for you and the number one thing on the top of your list should be because it's your friend's situation and now. just yeah. Yeah, remind be just be like this isn't him like this yeah. isn't the guy I'm gonna date so like what is there to even like because you most like crushes are just infatuation even people yes. you end up with for sure it's like the her, the reason you guys got together was infatuation mm-hmm. or just kind of like mm-hmm. oh I have like there are people that I had a crush on years ago that I look back and I'm like how did that what? <laughs> yeah. 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 what? Yeah, like actually what was going on but it was just because I was like imagining the two of us together yeah. and I made this whole love story oh, yeah. in my head and it's like just stop I doing that I marry people in my head yes. you know Literally? what I mean like I met them once you're I moving, a, I'm, you're moving I already had them I'm, no I'm, I met one person and I'm actually thinking about the life that I will have with them yes. in a foreign country sure. and I'm done sometimes yeah. I worry there's something wrong I had wrong. a five minute conversation Literally, I have oh. such intense daydreams all the time sometimes yep. I saw this in TikTok where it's like so I'm not alone in this. I will like schedule time or like get excited to like go to bed because I'm like now I can daydream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I literally one time when I do you not do that? <laughs> do you have those? Yeah. Yeah. Oh I literally God. will get That's so like why excited. I used to smoke weed was just to sit and think. And, and I won't shit. turn on music in the car so I can like daydream. Yeah. To about stuff. You should not be doing that while you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> and I close my eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please stop doing that. But I literally one time I was in acting school and she was like, I had to do the scene where my daughter died. And I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, I don't have a daughter. Like, how can I pull from that? And she was like, well, you don't have a daughter, but like, you definitely have like a daughter that you've like daydreamed about. And I literally like started crying because I was like, wait, that's so true. I don't even want to have kids. But I was you're like, like I'm just like have daydreams. No, I was really, it was not a good scene. I like cried later. <laughs> about it I couldn't do it in front of everyone but I was like wait that's so true like even though I don't have a child it's like I can daydream so hard that I think I like yeah. do have a child in my head yeah. that I have parental feelings over we're whoa sick in the head like it yeah. really is yeah. scary isn't it I feel that too thank you so much wow. for being here <laughs> yeah thank you so much for Thanks having for us here. wait plug 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 come listen to good children every single Wednesday across all platforms genuinely good children is a fucking incredible podcast. Thank like, you. Thank you. No, it it's is so, so funny, so good, and you guys have like genuinely such a good story. Obviously, you guys are also just so funny, but it's so fun to watch two people who've known each other for so long have a podcast. I feel like most podcasts people were like, we met last week at an event yeah. and we wanted to start a podcast. <laughs> Literally. And you guys have so many good stories. You're so just naturally funny, and your takes are very funny, thank and you, you wear fun costumes. Yeah, we do, thank and you. we bear it all. Literally. Last week, what does on, that mean? last week on Patreon. No, no, what? Skip it. <laughs> <laughs> Join their Patreon to yeah, find out. Actually, uh, um, yeah, and just such nice, wonderful people. Just so good, and we're so happy you're thank here. You. I'm so happy that we met you guys. Yeah, yeah. literally. It felt like fate. Yeah, it really did. It, it felt did. so serendipitous. It's very rare, I think, to like meet people, especially in like content spaces, yes. and be like, one, you're normal, and two, I want to hang out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's been great yeah. so far. Uh, I can't wait. So nice for dinner. I, for dinner. Literally. And then Florida. Yeah, oh, we're we're going Miami. Miami. Yeah. We should go to Vegas. We I'm always trying to get a little bit of Vegas. I, we would I, die if the four of us went to Vegas. Like literally die. Please tonight. 
Okay, <laughs> don't say it. I won't. <laughs> All right. Get in my seven seater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to pick up JoJo Siwa, yep. her management team. Uh, All right, well, that's been this week. Thank you so much for watching. (laughs) Give us five stars, please, Please. uh, everywhere. And watch us on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you. We're filming in the Spotify offices. We love Spotify. It's so beautiful here. (laughs) It really is. And listen to Good Children. It's so funny. And join their Patreon. Do all this stuff. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank Thank you for having us. Love you guys. Love Love you. you. Love you, Kendall. Love you. Love you, Joe. Love you. (laughs) Ew.